Hey everybody, how's it going? All right, it's cold and miserable outside. So I figured, you know what? I'll show you what I'm using for batteries for my planes. Since I've got back into FPV and flying my model airplanes, there's a few things I wanna show you. The first thing is, get yourself a spot welder. I just got this, I received it the other day. I've already made a few battery packs with it. Oh my God, <laughs> makes life so much easier and does such a professional job. So a little uh, spot welder, get yourself one of these. They're amazing. This one's a uh, Sequire, very nice. All right, enough of that. Okay, I made this battery, it's about two, three years ago. It's uh, 1800 milliamp cells. They're old uh, lithium ion cells, 18650s, um, something that was just kicking around the house. These are all uh, soldered on, they're not spot welded on. So it's just a pack I made, and I use this only in the house, like uh, when I'm testing stuff, anything that needs 12 volts, I use this to test. So this is one of my first packs I ever made. Then, when I got back into flying, I purchased some LiPo batteries. So these ones here, these are Gen's Ace 3300s. These are 45C batteries, and those are for my uh, Volantex Ranger uh, 1600 and 2000 airplanes. I fly that with that. It, it balances perfectly with those. Get nice flight times. After that, um, I purchased four of these. These are Gen's Ace. These are 25C batteries, 2200s. And these, I could use them for my uh, Volantex uh, Phoenix, my glider, my 2000 glider. I use it for that. It works beautifully. Uh, great, great flight times with that also. And also I could use this with my He-Wing, my Ranger, my T1. These fit actually perfectly. I've flown it with this. Great. This battery pack was made about two years ago. As you can see, it's sealed in epoxy and everything's waterproofed on it. This is for my kayak, my bilge pump, my electronic bilge pump system that I have in the boat. It's 12 volt battery. And this runs my pump for hours, just these little uh, batteries. So these are all, I don't know if you can see it here, but they've all been uh, soldered on the bottom. So that's for this, but um, I purchased, before I got my spot welder, I purchased this. This is uh, an O-line, 3000 milliamp uh, battery. And it's ju just, it's got an XG30 on it. Um, to be honest with you, I might change the plug and put a, um, put a regular XT60 on it. I could use it for something. I really haven't used it for anything yet. I just purchased it on a whim and uh, that's it. But I have another one like this. It's, um, it's the 4S and I'm using that one for my FPV goggles, my Sky Zones. I'm using that, so that works great for that. Now, these things. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I made a battery pack. I believe it's this one, yeah. This is the per first one I made before I got my spot welder. And these are just soldered on. These are uh, ICR 18650s, 2000 milliamp hours. These are old batteries I had. They made on the March 6th and I charge them at one app. And this is um, a three cell, uh, no, this is a four cell pack. Um, probably, I'll probably take a flight with it, try it out, see how it works. But like I said, they're old cells, so I'm gonna stick close just in case, because I don't know how it works. And you know, it came out kind of crap, my pack, but you know, it does the job. If not, I can use it for my goggles or something else. So this is the one I did a couple of weeks ago. Now, since I've gotten my spot welder, I kind of went hog wild. <laughs> So I said, you know what? I'm gonna go through all my battery packs and see what I have. So these two here, the first two, these ones are brand new cells. These are INR21700s, P42As. They're 4200 milliamps. They were made on March uh, 4th and you could charge these at two and a half amps. These are all right now in uh, storage, state of storage. Uh, these ones are gonna be for my He-Wing, my Ranger. So I'm looking forward to flying with these. And these were all made with a spot welder. So you can see they're all nicely made. The wires come out nicely. Uh, I really took my time making these. And when I make them, what I do is I take a bit of um, goop. I put just a bit of goop here. What this does, it keeps the wires from being yanked out if ever something happens. So I made two of these, <coughs> excuse me. So I have two of those packs, they're ready to go. These are all 4S. Uh, sorry, don't, these are 3S. Um, after I made those, I said, oh, you know what? I'm gonna make these two here. I had some old cells lying around. So I had this one. I did this one last night. Um, these are 18650, so I made a 4S pack. I had some extras. So I decided just to make a little 4S and uh, I'm getting better at it and they're, they're turning out a little bit nicer. So uh, I figured oh, I'll make these, I'll try it out. I'll see if I can fly with it. If I can't, I'll use it for something kicking around the house. I can use it for the boat. I could use it for anything, um, but I'll try flying with them first with the He-Wing. After that, I said, oh, you know what? I had some 2200s lying around. So I made another 4S and uh, made the same day. And you can see the same process. Uh, it turned out pretty nice, I think. And these are all with the spot welder. So I'm really, really happy with the spot welder. 
I'm the last pack. I made this one this morning. These are 18650. I made a 3S and I found I had three 3000 milliamp cells. I said, you know what? I'm going to use those. So uh, this is another one I made for the heat wing. So I got <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Basically, I could use 10 of these battery packs to fly the heat wing. That gives me a whole day. So, uh, Anyways, I, I could use them for all sorts of stuff. So, I, so that's it. So I just want to show you how 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 many of these things I have and uh, how they turned out for me. So I'm pretty happy with them. Uh, if you guys are interested and you want me to do a video um, of how I make them with the spot welder, just let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to do it. Uh, but there's so many there's so many um, videos online of people doing this anyway. So, um, but if you want me to show you how to do it, I'll be happy to do it. Um, just let me know below. And uh, last thing. I use an ammo can um, to store them, excuse me, in the house. It's a 50 caliber, so I can get everything in here. And I remove the seal around the inside, so in case something were to happen, uh, it would relieve the pressure from inside the can because you don't want this thing blowing. And uh, the other batteries, like I have other batteries also, like uh, some big ones, like uh, 20 amp hour batteries that I've made uh, a few years ago, which I used for like for my CPAP and camping and stuff like that. And those are stored in a big metal cabinet. So if something were to happen, uh, the fire would be in the cabinet and it's away from the walls and everything else. So it's, it's there's no chance, well, hopefully, cross your fingers that something would happen, but uh, they're stored safely. So that's it, guys. Anyways, I just thought I'd show you that. If you, there's any interest, let me know. If not, listen, um, they're super easy to make. Invest in a spot welder. These things are not expensive. Um, I think I paid like $80 or something for it. It's got a 10,000 milliamp battery. Um, I saw online a guy was showing uh, the settings. So it's at 75, I think it's microseconds or something uh for the current and i use that and it seems to spell um uh, spot weld perfectly and i put just about a one second delay because it came with a half a second but by the time you get the probes on there uh it, it catches too quick so i put it to almost one second and it seems to work perfectly anyways guys that's it um just a quick video have a great day talk to you later take care